Hey everybody, we're exiting Enniskillen now. We're heading towards John Gowan's bookshop, which is outside Enniskillen. Just wanted to show you the town a little bit. You're probably gonna have to get instructions from his website in order how to get there. It's a little bit difficult to find if you don't know. Uh, we're using a GPS to get here. Um, it is, it's a small area. Uh, when you get there, you might actually think that you're in the wrong place. Keep going. It's down a narrow road. It's called Boho Road. Um, in my opinion, the reason I'm showing you guys this is because it's probably, in my opinion, it, well, it's my favorite bookshop. I don't know if it's the best bookshop around, but it's a very special place, and hopefully I'll be able to show you in this video exactly why. Because if you like books, if you like rare books, Puritan books, all sorts of books, history books, you name it, it probably won't. He, like he, he's not going to have absolutely everything, but he's he's got a quite a selection of things that you'd be surprised what he does have at really reasonable prices. Sometimes books are rare and extremely expensive. And they're not expensive here. Now, I'm not getting a commission from this in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> um, I'm just doing it because I actually just, it is it is a place where I will travel one hour and 45 minutes. If you hear any noise in the background, that it, they are my children. And uh, so it's a bit of a family day out for us as we travel there. So here we're exiting uh, Enniskillen. Enniskillen is the county for mana. It's you're gonna have to you're, you're gonna have to get a if anybody's traveling here especially, you're gonna have to get a car. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to. I don't know if you can get buses out here. I, I don't think so. But especially when you get to the place where we're going, and you can see it's country roads and like you're still not here. It's it, and with all due respect to the place, it's in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful, beautiful part of the country, but it's, it, it is in the middle of nowhere. up to this part of the road I'm, I'm just showing you guys this just in case anybody is out here again because it might be a bit scary if you're from another country and you're this far out off the beaten beaten track and you might think again you might have gone too far if you're going to come out here I would recommend a GPS of some kind but I think most people have a sat nav on their phones or something like that the the exit is about another out a mile and a half away from here and this is about I think my fourth or fifth time driving out here and I still need the GPS but it's been about a year since I was here last Turning left here, the sign that says Boho, and look, I know you might go down here and think, okay, if I drive down this road, I'm never coming back. Don't worry, keep driving. It's, this is still, you're still going in the right direction. just up here actually it's the house just up here if you point towards the house actually so this little sign out here just you see books is number 46 it says on the outside and there, there seems to be other people here but anyway like I discovered this place through 
Joe Beakey. Joe Beakey loves this place. I think he orders a lot of his first edition Puritan uh, Puritan first editions here. Now, th that's expensive. I don't have any Puritan first editions. I can't afford them. But you don't have to be a book collector to come out here. There's all sorts of books. There's books as cheap as one pound, etc., and so on. Okay, guys, we're after arriving outside Gowan's bookshop. Now, this is it. Um, so, it's at the back of a house. This is the view from the countryside. It's really, really pretty out here. It's really, really nice. So, there's also, I'm going to point it here on the camera. See the building outside there? There's also another room out there. I talked about this two extra rooms and this is the main area this is outside just to give you an idea but this is the main area you need to give yourself at least maybe two to three hours if you're a serious book collector and especially if you make the trip out here uh, it's it's and the skill is not really near anything so if you are taking a visit to ireland it is worth coming out here it is worth even just seeing what's here if you just if you love books if you're a book collector I don't know if there's another bookshop like this anywhere else. I'm, you know, this is, it is my favorite bookshop and I hope it will become yours in the future. So, okay guys, we're after arriving here in Gowans and here are the first edition uh, Puritan books. Things that are way too expensive for me, but I think a lot of people are into this and collecting books, so, um, Kind of get a view of that there. There's, did I see Thomas Manton up there? So they're the first edition. Okay, over here in the shop, um, you can just see there's a lot of history. Various types of history. This place is, it's huge. Um, there's even other books, but I'm only going to show you part of the bookshop. And I just kind of want to briefly show people um, how big the place is and some of the sections that are here. Okay, and uh, some of the some of the stuff you can have, um, you can see commentaries from Calvin. There in the Book of Job, lots and lots of things. And the the, the great thing about here is you you just don't know what you're going to find, and that's part of that's part of the attraction of coming here. Honestly, today I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm looking for books on justification, sanctification, but we will see. Okay, uh, you can see lots and lots of commentaries this is all commentaries all down the left hand aisle and again i just want to give you guys a, a view of how big this place is there's lots of bibles commentaries stuff you can get but the prices are very very good You've got there up at the top, you've got Albert Barnes, commentaries. Again, this is all commentaries, commentaries, commentaries. Over here, it's not just all old books. He's also got a section here, which are new books, a lot of them from uh, tent, maker, tent Maker Publications, uh, some from Reformation Heritage Books. And there's a lot of good stuff here. Again, you if you're coming here, give yourself two to three hours if you're or if you've got a lot of endurance, give yourself maybe four hours. I mean, okay, I don't know if I'm getting very good camera angles here, but just look at how many books that there are here. Um I'm not gonna make this a very long video because basically I want to look around myself, but I hopefully we'll be able to get this up soon for you guys that you'll be able to see. Um Ten Maker Publications are very good. Also, Reformation Heritage uh, books are very good. Uh, for example, you can see there this 
some of Joel Beakey's books. You can see Meet the Puritans. Uh, the Christology there of John Owen. A lot of the, some of the translation from the more Dutch reformers. Uh, Jacobus Coleman's book on the duty of parents. Um, also the new uh, published, newly published, well, newish republication of William Perkins. Obviously Perkins isn't the new publication. And he is the you know known as the father of Puritanism. And I, it's it's very hard to summarize all this down. You kind of have to come here, and I hope that I will whet some people's appetite just to be able to come here. In the corners, a lot of stuff on revivalism. Now, some of the books, not every book in here. Like if you want, if you're doing research on cults heresy things like that he's also got things like that here as well and it's really really cheap i'll be honest so um very good prices uh turning over here pick a section here christian living and i'll just give you some examples of some of the books that are here something that maybe somebody would recognize C.S. Lewis, not a fan of C.S. Lewis myself, but people may want it for research. Practical Religion, J.C. Ryle at the top there. Okay, guys, I'm back from a very long day. Uh, I think it's about nearly 9 o'clock at night. That's the thing with... <laughs> If you're going to travel out to Enniskillen to bookshop, you probably realize it's, you're going to have to like set aside a whole day, and it's worth it. I just want to show you some of the books I got and um, some of the deals you might be able to get and things like that. Um, here is what I got from today. Uh, called The Sabbath a Delight. Uh, that's from Walter Chantry. I'm looking forward to reading that. Also, The Spirit of Christ. I'm oh, sorry, don't have it on camera there. The Spirit of Christ by Andrew Murray. And you can just see, like, the, a lot of these books that are that are found in the shop, some of them are, like, old editions. I love old copies of books like this. Um, my book collection has been honestly transformed since I started coming to the shop. And I think this is, like, my fifth time at the shop uh, just give you an idea when this is uh published if it tells me again this is a different video i don't plan on doing this all the time the reason why i kind of i just want to share with people is that i do think this place is unique i don't know if there's a, there might be other places like this around the world but to get these kind of rare books it's very hard to get puritan uh, Christian sound reformed theological works and uh, just give you an idea what kind of th stuff you could get um, I, I, I think it was published around the late 19th century anyway so that's Andrew Murray the Spirit of Christ and anything to do with um, the Holy Spirit I'm like kind of picking up at the moment James Buchanan the office and work of the Holy Spirit I got that was published I think by yeah, Banner of Truth Again, like these are old. I mean, like these are, if you just give you an idea, you know, things that have been originally published in the 60s. And often the binding is very, very good. I mean, if it's lasted this long, it's going to last even longer. So um, books in very good condition, hardback. And another book, I'm not too sure about the author, but uh, it was, <laughs> I basically picked it up because it was, you can get it there, it's Banner of Truth. And it's, the Gifts of the Holy Spirit by C. Or Vaughan. And this book was uh, by a Christian who lived in, who died in 1911. And I like getting perspectives pre the Pentecostal movement of people, you know, who used to be in the present Pentecostal movement. I have the Doctrine of Christ. I'll just try and find it over here. Doctrine of Holy Spirit by, oh yeah, the Doctrine of Holy Spirit by Smeaton, George Smeaton, who was a Scottish Presbyterian in the 19th century. 
Uh, a couple other things we picked up. There was lots of different things here. You could lots of different things you could pick up. Uh, nursery rhyme things you know for my kids and stuff like that. Um, there's actually a number of them downstairs. They're not here. Uh, redemption accomplished and applied. The quest for full assurance. Legacy of Calvin and his successors by Joel Beakey. Another kind of children's book. Um, I'm not too sure. My wife picked up a lot of these. I think these are children's books, uh, books as well. Um, kind of cool stories as well to help kids understand the gospel. Um, Jeremiah Burroughs. Gospel Reconciliation. God's Marvelous Plan of Salvation. And that was published by Solidea Gloria Publications. It's a division of Ligonier Ministries. Um, for whatever people want to say about Ligonier Ministries, at least they're very, very clear on justification, sanctification, unlike a lot of other ministries. And you know what? I'm beginning to appreciate them more and more over the years. So praise the, praise the Lord. Jeremiah Burroughs was a 17th century Puritan. Also, I got this. This was... Uh, covenant justification and pastoral ministry now I'm doing research if anybody's aware of the controversy with kind of legalism neonomianism all that kind of thing and it ties in with John Piper that controversy go to get a review.com and you can read an article on John Piper and the the dangers that John Piper's got involved with anyway so this really tied in really well with this and I, w I wanted to get this time I wanted to get books related to the gospel, uh, justification, pastoral ministry, and, and a lot. And this book here, it's very hard to get Oris Clark Clark's works in my, from my experience in Ireland. I'm, this is the first time I found it. Uh, first chapter that he wrote is, let me get it in front of me here. The Roots of the Current Controversy Over Justification. So, sorry. Can't get it there. Now, he didn't write everything in this. This is edited by R. Scott Clark, and it's a lot of essays from the faculty of Westminster Seminary, California, who, from what I can see, are standing in opposition against the le a lot of legalism that hasn't been dealt with in Westminster, Philadelphia. Westminster, Philadelphia is much more Westminster Theological Seminary. Some good men there, don't get me wrong, but. Uh, uh, the heresy with Norman Shepard was not dealt with in the 1970s, and I pres I'm presuming that that's why they split in 1982 from the two seminaries from each other. Also, there's another book. This is something my wife picked up. Uh, Sharon James. I, I I'll be honest, I have no clue what this is, but I I pray that the Lord will bless that. And also with my research going to John Piper. Um, I have an anti, I have anti rights some anti rights works, and I want to see what John Piper wrote about justification when he was. This is this is back I don't know about ten years ago when he wrote this, and just like there's some my like that's gonna help my research. I'm people, if you want my views on John Piper, just go to megetareview.com or else or otherwise uh, megetareview.com. What else? Okay, just about to turn around here, so. Look, just to give you an idea, there are a bunch of books, right? There's, I don't know, there's uh, 10 books, 50, 50 pounds, 50 pounds sterling. I mean, you will not get that. There's not a better price out there. John is a very nice guy. He's a godly Christian, loves the Lord. He's not doing it. He's not doing it just to make money. He could charge a lot more if he wanted to. I <laughs> probably should stop telling him that because he may eventually do that. But no, seriously, he's a lovely guy. It's really nice to go out there. Okay, it's it's a bit of a trek to get out there, but it, it is worth it. Okay, if you can't get out there, go to gowanbooks.com. And uh, I think it's shop at gowanbooks.com. And just contact him. Ask him, does he have a specific book? Because the reason I'm sharing this again is this is my fifth time. And I've, I've talked myself out of going to... You know, bring a video camera. I I pretty I didn't do that much film. I, to be honest, I'm not really a. I've got some decent equipment, but I've never really gotten into vlogging properly. Maybe I should. Maybe I should get into it more. But here's the thing. I I kind of talked myself out of it doing a couple of times. But I just said like I, I would love for more people, especially on the island of Ireland, 
who can who have access to come um to check out the place go there it is an experience by itself because there's so many books you saw the rows and rows of vials of things that's not like the same book over and over again they're different books you're digging out and you're finding amazing finds sometimes that just and you know what you can go there once every six months you'll find different things now if you go to my collection just that's my bookcase probably 50 percent i don't know i think about 100 of books here are from john gowns if you go the ones here john flavel uh, historic theology by cunningham john fox is down this is like in 1824 edition this is not the full uh, book of martyrs fox's book of martyrs is eight volumes in total i got this from gowns most the best books i have because it's very hard to get books even on amazon good books decent price okay so it, i just highly recommend you might not be able to on the website find what you're looking for but there's a great chance that he has it now subscribe to his catalog the catalog has rare things and contact him straight away because people will snap it up pretty fast if you have any questions megidofilms at gmail.com or contact john yourself and i just pray that this will stimulate you to get in good solid christian reading you know get a get a kick out of um finding books great books solid christian teaching and um surround yourself with you know, and in the multitude of counselors, their safety. And I just pray that this generation of Christians get a really enjoy reading. And um, and if you're in this, if you're ever in this area, if you're in this part of the world, and you want to look me up or anything, give me give me a shout, no problem. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you all for tuning in. It's from Paul Flynn of Megiddo Radio, Megiddo Films, and the Megiddo Review.